Justin Hokinson wearing his TNR hat. Uh, we love it, Oak. Oh, man, I haven't even seen that hat. That's, yeah, a, that's, that's an awesome a, uh, hat. That's at the store. You bought it in the store, didn't you, Hoke? Yeah. Okay, good. You bought it. We didn't send it to you? We would have sent you one. Listen, we sent, uh, Hoke will tell you, we sent one that we had on hand. We do not have that one on hand, but I did send Hoke a hat. Right, Hoke? Am I right about that? That's true. That's true. All right, thank you. So he sent you Uh, a cheap one. I did not. I sent one of ours. (laughs) AuburnLive.com. AuburnLive.com. Part of Bone 3 Sports at underscore Jay Hokinson on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. Um, I'll just go ahead and warn everybody. We'll probably talk a little more off the field with Hoke, more on the field with Stan coming up at the top of the hour. Let's start with some of the off the field stuff, though, Hoke. Uh, the transfer portal has been busy uh, in this bye week for Auburn. And is that something that should be alarming? Or since the bye week for Auburn, I should say, is that something that should be alarming? It's not It's not really to me. I, I, I don't. I, my reaction to this has been very different than, than our fans and then people on our message boards. I, I just, I don't know. I, I feel like this day and age, people are always going to transfer. It's just not a big deal to me. Um, these are guys that have fallen down the depth chart and they're not happy about it. And that's, that's fine. They're, I have no issue with, with the decision those guys are making. I, I just, um, of the list of things to be concerned about when it comes to Brian Harson and the running of the program, this seems like down the list. I mean, I just think there's a lot more things. It's weird that this is kind of the one that feels like it broke the, you know, the straw that broke the camel's back in terms of the reaction of people. Um, and it's odd. And look, if if Brian Harson, which I say if, I, I mean, he did, I've confirmed with not just um, players, but but other sources, he, he did. Um, he is saying, hey, you're a completely healthy player, Landon King, um, and you want to just redshirt, that's not an acceptable option. You can choose to transfer, you can play, or you can quit. And he's King said, Well, I'm not playing. So so he's gonna he's gonna transfer. Like that that is true. Um, he is telling some players that that are completely healthy and are just deciding, I want a red shirt, I just I don't want to be available. Don't make me available. I don't want to play. Well, well then you're not gonna be a part of the team. I mean that's exactly. that's happening. Yeah, yeah, that that makes but, me that makes me mad, Hoke. If I'm if I'm out there going to play wearing the uniform, you're a healthy scratch. That pisses me off if I'm in that locker room. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm with you. I, I didn't under like when when we talked about that on the board, I, I was like, that's a perfectly reasonable stance for Brian Harson to take. And I don't have a problem in this day and age, I don't have a problem with Lana King saying, Hey, things haven't gone my way. I just want to, I want to, I want a red shirt and maybe transfer. Fine. But, but then, you know, you can't still be around the team and influence the culture and influence the locker room and have access, access to the, to everything that they do. You just want to kind of shut it down. I, I get it. I get it from Harson. I think fans are, are mad because they view it. They, they're looking at Brian Harson making decisions that can affect personnel long term next year. And they're thinking this guy might not even be here yet. He's, potentially influencing guys to not be on the roster next year. I think that's where fans are getting upset. But as long as he's the head coach, he's going to make decisions as the head coach, and and, and especially somebody like Brian Harson. You're, you're not – that dude is not going to just stop doing what he thinks is right. Um, that's for sure. He's going to continue to make those decisions. And now that you've got a couple of guys trickling out, do you get a gut feel that we're going to have a mass exodus at some point? Uh, a mass exodus. I mean, there's probably a couple other guys that could potentially announce a transfer. I don't know about a mass exodus. Um, I mean, it, it, I guess it depends. I mean, if you're talking, are you talking about while he's still the head coach, like in the next couple of weeks? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, from, from a couple of weeks till, you know, the end of the season, I mean, do you see where it, it the numbers get up to double digits? I don't know about by the end of the season. I mean, I could see people obviously if, if a change was if a change were made, I can see people making decisions. I'm not sure. I haven't heard enough names behind the scenes to think there's just gonna be this massive flux of of guys over the next week leaving. I think though Landon King and Tavares Dawson are honestly two guys we talked about on our board two weeks ago. Saying I talked about Zakevius Walker too. I said, Hey, there's just there's a few guys that are a little unhappy, wouldn't shock me. Um, if they announce the transfer. And so that's what happened. And again, 
people need to remember these guys could come back depending on a coaching change, depending on if a new staff wanted them, depending on a lot of things. They're, all they've done is put out a graphic saying that they intend to enter the portal. That's all that's happened so far. But no, I'm not sure that there'll be a mass exodus of any, of, of any more players. I think there was just some guys that were bubbling up. And I think Harson approached some of those guys and said, are you in or out? Yeah. Be okay. in or out right now. Okay. Now you're, you're, you're a good Auburn guy and I'm not. Okay. So I'm going to ask you a question. First, I applaud you for not, you know, panicking over the, a couple of portal guys here um, that really aren't impacting Saturdays right now. So I applaud you for reacting this way. Um, that being said, as an Auburn guy, put your journalism aside as an Auburn fan, do you want these guys back? I understand they can come back, but to me, they, they're quitting on, on Auburn. And I know they say in that cute little graphic that they love Auburn, they appreciate the opportunity, they'll always Auburn men. I, I understand all that. But if you're a healthy scratch and we're going out there and playing for Auburn every Saturday, no matter – we're not going to be in the national championship game. We're playing for Auburn every Saturday. The stadium will be packed Saturday. We're playing Arkansas, and you don't want to play. How can you ever let those guys back? How would you ever want them back if you're a fan? Uh, I mean, that's a fair question. But you don't I, have I to don't, uh, I'm putting you in a bad spot. Don't answer. Yeah. I'm just saying if I'm a, a fan, fair I don't want you back. I don't want you back. Yeah. That, that's me if I'm a fan. If, I don't want you back. Go ahead. Yeah, Go ahead, Brown. Fair Brown, ask him a fair question. Well, he said it's a fair <laughs> it's not a fair question. Well, I'm putting I will, him in a bad Here's what I will say. Here's what I will say. Here's what I will say. It doesn't necessarily – like fans can have that perspective. I, I wouldn't be in the locker room with the guy. I do know that some of the other players and teammates, to my knowledge, don't really have an issue with – the decisions Landon King and DeVarge Dawson necessarily made. Like, so I, I think in the locker room right now, it's kind of this odd time in college football where there's just sort of an understanding that, hey, whatever's good for you, man. And and it's it's just different. And so if there would be issue in the locker room, yes, but I don't know. Those guys are pretty well liked. And so I don't know that there's an issue in the locker room with their decision. Um, and so – I don't know if it would even matter what I what I think. But, you know? but if, if I'm Tank Bigsby and I'm trying to get a, a big contract in the NFL, uh, it'd be nice if Landon King was out there busting his ass, getting open, which would free yeah. up some, some numbers in the box so I could get some yards so the NFL scouts could still love me a little bit. That's all I'm saying. You're impacting yeah. a lot of people's lives at some yeah. point when you decide I'm not going to go to work today. That's, that's, that's it. Fair. That's it. And that's what's happening. That, that is what they are doing. Let's be real. That's the decision they're making. That is. Just to recap, Dunaway asked a question, ruled it himself unfair, passed his question to me, Hoke answered, then Jim jumped back in with another <laughs> question and then told Hoke not to answer it, in case y'all yeah. got lost on it. Yeah. All right, hey, uh, real quick before you go, Hoke, the AD search. Um, we are asking in the chat room, i got to find who asked you this. Um, oh, Tom wants to know if Eddie Nunez of New Mexico is in the mix. What's the latest on the AD search? Yes, he's still in the mix. I, I, it kind of went – things have sort of gone pretty quiet. I mean, it's a small, small circle of the people that are making this decision, Chris Roberts and, and probably two or three confidants and, and, and people he trusts, and that's it. Um, I do think that they're closing in. I think there was a some, something in the process slowed it down the last week. Due diligence, something went on. I do think next week is still a, a, a potential week to make a hire. I think Eddie Nunez, who's somebody we talked about last week, uh, he's absolutely in the mix. John Hartwell is is still absolutely in the mix. You know, Rich McGlynn is the interim. As long as he's the interim, he's in the mix. Um, I still get the feeling that there's potentially a power five name, well-established name that's that's that there may be either there's a chance that they could sway or before they make a hire. I think they've got a couple guys they feel like would say yes. And then I and I wonder if there's not a name out there that uh they're trying to get lap you know that hey like can we convince this guy can we get this guy if we pay him would he come on board that wouldn't surprise me i can't confirm a name for sure but i do get the feeling that there is one of those guys out there that could be a wrinkle in this whole thing all right he is justin hokinson follow him on twitter at underscore j hokinson read him at auburnlive.com that's part of on three sports great time to jump on board there with everything that's going on at auburn auburnlive.com hoke thank you for the time man always good talking with you all right. Thanks, guys. All right, buddy. Have a good weekend. Justin Hokinson with us on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline.